Am I an a-hole for calling my stepfather a hypocrite at a birthday dinner? I, 22-year-old female, and my mom, 39's oldest child. She met my stepdad when she was 19 and he was 27. They were married a year later and went on to have my siblings. We'll call them N, who's 18, A, who's 17 female, and T, who's 15 female. It's not a secret that I don't like my stepdad. My mom was a vulnerable teenager when she met him and he was a grown man. He made her quit school and become a housewife all while isolating her from her family. I left directly at 18 because I could not stand seeing him with her. I hated how he talks to her and how he's treated her their entire relationship. I visit when he's working, so I don't have to see him, but still get to see my family. So, the dislike I have for him is pretty obvious. Well, my sister T, who's the 15-year-old girl, and a birthday dinner just a few days ago. She really wanted me and my girlfriend, who's 24, to be there. So, despite my dislike for my stepdad, I went. Because, well, I want my little sister to be happy. At the dinner, somehow the fact that my girlfriend is 24 was mentioned. And my stepdad made a face before asking her, quote, Oh, you don't think it's inappropriate to date someone who can hardly legally drink? I think all the years of quiet resentment just bubbled over because I did not even think about it before. I asked him if he developed those morals before or after he started dating a vulnerable teenage mom when he was nearly 30. He got really red in the face and my mom very quickly changed the subject. The next morning, I got a text message from my mom saying that my stepdad does not want me coming over to the house anymore, even when he's not there. Apparently, he made that announcement to my siblings too, and since then, both of my sisters have started giving him the silent treatment. My brother texted saying he agrees with me, and he wishes our mom would leave his dad too. But I should not have done that at T's birthday dinner. My girlfriend agrees with my brother, but I talked to T, and as far as she's concerned, nothing I said was inaccurate, and she thinks her dad should have kept his mouth shut if he did not want me calling him out. The whole extended family found out about it though, so now my stepdad's mom is accusing me of lashing out at him because my mother never married my father, so they think I'm just, quote, jealous. <laughs> the whole thing is an absolute mess, and I'm being called an a-hole for, quote, ruining my sister's birthday dinner. So, am I? What's up guys, Mr. Redito here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Man, this is a crazy story. So, it turns out that OP's brother actually told the mom about this post and the mother made a post. Yep, now we get to see from the mom's perspective of this story. Please subscribe to the channel so you never miss an update and let's jump into the mother's perspective. I'm 39, I had my first child when I was 17, she's now 22. And I met my now husband about two years later when he was 27. I was 19. We've been together for 20 years now, and I've had three more beautiful children. My 22-year-old loves her siblings, she's the best sister in the world. She dotes on them helps them pay for extra expenses when my husband and I don't have the extra dollar dollar, and sees them as often as possible. She's an incredible daughter, smart, kind, and all around just a sweet girl. The problem is that she's never gotten along with my husband, not even when she was little. I thought at first that she was a young and adjusting to change, but throughout her life and my marriage, she has not wavered on her dislike for him. She said that she does not like how he treats me or speaks to me. I try my best to keep the peace, but a few days ago, I think I fell short in that. My youngest just turned 15, and to celebrate, we had a dinner at her favorite restaurant. My eldest usually avoids gatherings with my husband, but my 15-year-old really wanted her there, so she got her to come with her girlfriend. 
At dinner, my husband made a stupid silly comment about the two-year age difference between my daughter and her girlfriend. My daughter responded by mentioning the age difference between him and I. She phrased it in a way that made it clear she views our age difference as wrong and that she thinks my husband took full advantage of my vulnerability. So I quickly changed the subject. When we got home after dinner and the kids were in bed, my husband began yelling at me for not defending him against my daughter. It was obvious that our children did not disagree with her statement, and that seemed to make him even angrier. He said that because I never corrected my daughter in the past about her dislike for him. It's my fault that she hates him now. He also feels that his hate has caused our other children to hate him too. I have a feeling our 18-year-old son heard the argument, because he came into our room at the height of it, pretending he needed something. The next day, my husband told the children and I that my oldest will no longer be allowed in the home. And as a result, my other daughters aren't speaking to him. And, well, my son has been very short with him. This hasn't helped to soothe his anger in the slightest, and I'm not sure what to do. I don't think it would have been fair for me to force my daughter to like him, and I believe she's free to feel however she wants. She's also been respectful and polite to him, but my husband told his family what happened at Din Din, and now they all think my eldest is acting out of jealousy and resentment. My mother-in-law thinks I should have tried harder to help my daughter and husband get along when she was young. And that this conflict is my fault now. Did I cause this? Okay guys, so now we had that perspective from the mother. It's interesting to see both sides and it just seems like this dude is an absolute jerk. Lots of red flags going left and right, but let me know what you're thinking about this in the comment section below. Don't worry, it's not over yet. There is an update for the original post where OP posted. So let's go ahead and see what's happening with Am I the A-hole for calling my stepdad out for being a hypocrite at my sister's birthday dinner? Okay, clearly a lot has happened, so I'm just going to try to summarize what I can. I really don't want to go into a lot of details about this, Mainly because I feel like a lot of this is a bit too much info to share on the internet. I originally just wanted to know if I effed up at a birthday party and now it turned into so much more. My brother, my middle sister A, and I all used to read these posts. It's why I made this account. I did not want them to find my last post. But my brother did end up seeing it shortly after I made it. And he sent it to my middle sister, who then amped up on dropping comments to our mom about checking it for herself. And said she was hoping mom would see the post and get a dose of reality from my point of view. And the comments or even stumble upon a relationship slash advice forum and find clarity there. Mom's not big on social media, but she wanted to get into a bit, so... I guess A thought this was a good time to encourage her. Long story short, my mom made a post a day ish after. And she found my post because people pointed out the similarities and someone linked it. Someone also sent her post to me. My mom and I did sit down and talk like many of you suggested. She's fine and my siblings are okay too. My siblings and I have expressed how we feel about my stepdad, slash their dad, but obviously, we can't do anything for our mom unless she's willing to do it herself. I will always have space for my family in my home, and I've sent money to my mom to help out with the kids before, so it's not like I'm unable to provide her with some financial assistance to get away if she needed it. I do talk to my mom's sister. She knows about the sitch, too, because, well, I've pretty much vented to her about it in my entire childhood. So, I gave my mom her number, just in case. Bottom line is that mom's not planning on divorcing or leaving him. 
though we all wish you would change your mind. I do want to thank you all who were kind and offered genuine advice. I'm hoping that a few years from now, my mom will get away from him and she and I can laugh at the fact that we accidentally cross-posted different point of views of the birthday dinner that led to her leaving a crappy marriage. Like I said, I don't want to say too much else for privacy reasons. I originally just expected a few opinions, but this got way bigger than I expected, and I'm way too uncomfortable with an audience, so I probably won't be back with any major updates. I'm just going to focus on my siblings and leave the door open for my mom. If slash when she accepts it. I just want to point out the fact that the son was actually trying to stand up for the mother, it seemed like the entire time, and here's what I'm talking about. Oof. OP's mom had been conditioned to accept his obvious abuse as normal. Hopefully, she'll come around once all three of his kids dip and go low contact when they're all of age. The son entering the room during the height of the argument screams his mom was in danger and he was afraid for her, and she still did not even realize. Guys, I know this lady sounds clueless, but we have to remember what she's going through is literally abuse. If you have any thoughts, opinions, comments, drop them down below and let's discuss this situation as it's an absolutely crazy one. Very toxic and vile. Okay guys, the next story we're going to look at is an Am I the A-hole? Am I the a-hole for wanting to tell my stepdaughter that her dad installed a tracking device in the new car he bought her on her 18th birthday? I'm 36 and female and have been married to my husband for three years. He has one daughter, Christine. She'll soon be 18 years old and he's bought her a new car as her birthday gift. Here's the thing. Christine's mom is deceased. She has a good relationship with me. In fact... Not too long ago, she told me I was like a second mother to her. This, of course, means everything to me. However, she and her dad just don't get along that much. I've had to say that he's incredibly overprotective of her, but has done things that affected their relationship. Like how he caused her to break up with her ex-boyfriend after he got diagnosed with multiple health conditions. Because of that, Christine has grown distant from her father. For her 18th birthday, he wanted to throw her a big ol' celebration and buy her the car she always dreamt of to reconcile with her. They're on okay terms now, but he says he wants to gain back her trust. Two days ago, I overheard him speaking with a friend about him extolling a tracking device in the new car. I was stunned. I brought up with him later that night and told him how wrong this was. He said it was none of my business, but I told him that if and when Christine finds out, then there's going to be some trouble. He got upset, went on about how he's just doing this out of concern and protection for her, and said it was none of my business whatsoever since I did not buy the car. I called him unreasonable and said that if he does not back off, then I'll tell her at the party. And when he hands her the key. He was shocked at this. He called me crazy and said that I should not have been snooping and listening to his private talks in the first place. I said, well, I'd tell her, but he told me to stay out of it since it's his daughter, not mine. And that if I wanted to parent my way, then I was free to have my own children this stung because he knows I can't have kids due to infertility problems. We argued about it and I said I'd still tell her. He called me unhinged and said I get no say nor do I have the right to get involved whatsoever. Just stay out of it, he kept repeating. I consulted my mom and she agreed it was in fact none of my business. She told me to stay out of it and not to try to stir drama and cause a scene. She said I should know better and stay on my husband's good side. I'm torn on this, but I'm still insisting on it. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below 
Am I the a-hole if I expose the secret? Okay, so here's the comment and it got so much attention. Not the a-hole, check your car and devices for trackers or spyware. If he's doing it to her on the sly, he may have slash probably have done it to you too. It's insanely creepy, violating, and even more concerning is his quote, keep your mouth shut reaction. Don't walk away, run. Preferably leave before telling your stepdaughter everything. Don't do it at the party and make sure she knows you're there for her. So guys, let me know if you agree with that information. I do think this dude's extremely abusive for the way that he's trying to manipulate both people involved in the story. Let me know your thoughts on it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and try something new today you thought that you could never do. And remember, it's cool to be kind.